Each clip editor in LumaFusion displays its own control stack, an area where you're able to see and edit various attributes of your clip. The layers you see within the control stack are directly related to the clip editor you're working in. See here in the frame and fit editor, we can control elements like the position or size of our media. Whereas here in the audio editor, the control stack focuses on elements like the gain or panning of our clip's audio. In the color and effects editor, the control stack is developed by you, the editor, as you place presets on your media. Each of these color and effect presets contain its own attributes, which can be seen when the layer is open. You can add multiple presets to a clip, building a stack of effects by simply tapping the preset icons at the top. These are stacked in order they're applied to your media, with the first preset at the top and last at the bottom. The order you place your effect presets on a clip will determine how it looks. To reorder these presets, collapse all layers by tapping on the drop down of each open layer and then tap, hold and drag the handle of your chosen preset to a different position in the stack. While you're doing this, notice how the look of your media changes as you alter the order these effects are applied. To see what your media will look like without a particular preset, without having to delete it from the control stack, tap on the eye symbol to toggle its visibility on and off. If a preset's visibility is toggled off, it will remain in the stack, but won't be seen in the preview. If you would rather delete it entirely, you can do by expanding the effect and tapping the trash can icon. Add, reorder and delete color and effect presets until you've reached the desired look for your media. This line here of green, orange and red dots above the control stack called the effects meter is there to indicate when you're reaching the limit of how many presets can be played back smoothly in real time. However, don't panic here, as if you find smooth playback is compromised by the amount of effects in your control stack, more effects can always be added and your video will still play back smoothly once you've exported it.